Well, South Dakota Governor Christy Noem wrote a letter on Friday demanding the Oglala Sioux Tribe and Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe remove their checkpoints in the next 48 hours. Choi Lin went to Pine Ridge and heard the Oglala Sioux Tribe's response. Standing in the wind gusts on the side of the road are the travel checkpoints monitors. Before each car enters the reservation, they ask, Do you have a fever? Do you have a cough? Do you have an essential business? This safety measure is what Governor Christine Nome wants to remove. Importation of goods, um, mail, you know, any uh, transportation of freight through the reservation, you know, we are allowing that. And, um, you know, and we track that as well. So checkpoint A will inform checkpoint B to be expecting this individual or you know this um, transportation of goods to be exiting in this amount of time. Since roads are still accessible, the Oglala Sioux tribe is bewildered by Governor Nome's demand. As far as you know, do you even see any issues why that no, no, I don't. We informed the state of South Dakota of our tribal border monitoring plan on several occasions. No objection was raised by any state official to the tribal border monitoring plan or the tribe's travel checkpoints on April on the April 16th call. She has never had any contact other than the phone call that we had on April 16th. And President Bear Runner has been in daily communication with their agent from Bureau of Indian Affairs. We got a reaffirmation from him last night in a meeting stating that no, he's in the Department of Interior nor the Bureau of Indian Affairs has ever notified the tribe or has ever seen a non, you know, non-compliance from the tribe within the procedure set forth. Bear Runner says in addition, they've never received a letter from Nome. Is it normal that the governor doesn't really send a letter to you guys? No, you know, that, that and that is, you know, for me is just a, a sign of disrespect um, for a sovereign nation. Uh, um, or or govern another government um, agency. Chihana Igluha Mauni Piktelo. We have an inherent and sovereign right to protect the health of our people, and no one, man or woman, can dispute that right. Bear Runner says the only way to get through this health crisis is work together.